Happy Tuesday, everybody. Meteorologist Robert Sir back with you this morning for another check of that forecast. And it could be a record setting forecast as we are looking at uh, the possibility of records falling today and tomorrow. Notice we're calling for a high of 98 today. That's one off the record. Same thing tomorrow. But really, I mean, when it's 98, 99 or 100 degrees, it's just going to be ridiculously hot outside. And probably by Wednesday, you'll notice that humidity really starting to creep up. So great time to head to the pool over the next several days, with maybe the exception of Saturday, where we're watching the chances for showers and thunderstorms. Uh, keep yourself nice and cool uh, by the pool over the next couple of days. Overall, next 24 hours across the metro, Temperatures racing into the 90s this afternoon and this evening, not cooling down by much with those overnight temperatures only in the 70s tonight. Futurecast, uh, once again, very uneventful, very light winds today as that high pressure keeps things very stagnant. That's why we've got that air quality alert in effect. We should remain below heat advisory criteria just barely uh, for the most part. Waking up tomorrow morning, temperatures for the most part 60s and 70s. Obviously warmer right in the immediate Louisville metro area with that urban heat island effect. And then you notice here uh, by the lunch hour on Wednesday temperatures once again right back into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Notice that southwesterly wind continuing to pull in some of that uh, additional humidity across the metro. So it's going to be another brutally hot day, very light winds. Temperatures right around 100 degrees. We'll see if we challenge that record or not. For your community here, about the same thing. Look at all those 90s across the board with the hottest temperatures right in the metro area where you've got more dark surfaces, more concrete. And you can see that uh, departure from average today well, well above where we should be for this time of the year, not just for us, but for a large part of the eastern part of the United States. And then muggy, or on the muggy side tonight, as we fall into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Could be a stray shower well after midnight. We'll see. Most of you won't even know that that happens. Could also see an isolated storm Wednesday afternoon north of Interstate 64. Better chances for rain arrive Friday and into the weekend. But right now, things look much, much better in time for Labor Day.